Good day, viewers. It is very important for Nigerians to keep on talking against bad governance, to keep on talking against impunity by other government parastatals organization or, or institution. You know, that was two days ago when DSS fought with prison service in the court premises. I mean, the ammunition they brought to the court um, premises in a civil case. So the action was totally condemnable. And I'm happy that a lot of people condemn it, including the president of Nigerian Bar Association and other women Nigerians. That is a good sign that, yes, we truly want a good country, despite bad leadership by the administrators. I'm talking about the, 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 the executive, the judiciary, and the legislatures. But actually, we want a good Nigeria. So I think the, the DSS have received a lot of pressure that made them to now come back to apply to the court for permission to keep on detaining MF in there. And I'm happy the court refused the application. The court declined it. So, MF in there being in DSS custody now is illegal. So, I am happy because if it is before, DSS will not go back to the court to apply for permission to hold MF in there again. It was because of the pressure people are putting on. So, when we are talking or when others are talking, they are not just talking because of themselves. It is because we want good governance in Nigeria. We want things to be done. We want the rule of law to be recognized by everybody because that is supreme. Rule of law is supreme. There is no um, foreign organization or individuals that could come to Nigeria to do investment if they don't see rule of law working. Because Things could happen along the way. If it is a country that doesn't obey law, then what will protect you? Absolutely nothing. Meaning the government can wake up one day, take your business and do whatever thing they like. However, this video has the details of how the court refused the application of the DSS to detain MFNA. Well, um, first I will thank the media for continuing coverage of what has appeared now to be a grave attack on the institution of judiciary in Nigeria. This morning, we witnessed again in open court an attempt by the Department of State Security to hoodwink the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory and obtain a further remand order to keep Mr. Godwin Emefele in their custody for 14 days. They filed a motion ex parte yesterday, and diligent Nigerians who are interested in protecting and preserving the institution of the judiciary called to let us know that there is an attempt to hoodwink the court to grant further remand order to keep Mr. Godwin in MFL. Um, luckily for us, we are here in court this morning and we narrated the history of the attempt by the DSS to subvert the course of justice. We reminded the court that on the 13th of June, the DSS approached the Chief Magistrate Court in Wuse obtained a 14-day remand order to keep Mr. Godwin and MFLA in their custody. They went back again on the 26th of June under Section 293 of the Administration of Criminal Justice Act. And the magistrates again complied and granted them 14-day further extension to keep Mr. Godwin and MFLA in their custody to allow them, according to their application, to finish investigation and charge Mr. Godwin Emefele to court where offenses are disclosed. Now, pursuant to that, we approached the High Court of the FCT. And in two judgments or rulings of this court, the court ordered the first judgment was by uh, Honorable Justice Muazu. The court ordered the DSS to charge Mr. Godwin Emefele to court within seven days or release him on administrative bail. The next day, Honorable Justice Kawu of the same High Court of FCT ordered the DSS to charge Mr. Godwin MFL to court within 48 hours or release him on bail. In compliance, or so we thought, in compliance with the orders, orders made by the courts, the DSS, through the Ministry of Justice, preferred the charge before the Federal High Court in Lagos. They charged Mr. Godwin Emefele for possession, of illegal possession of firearms. We were in court two days ago, and upon arraignment, the court took an application for bail duly filed and served, and granted bail to Mr. Godwin Emefele. Before Mr. Godwin Emefele could 
could perfect his bail conditions, the DSS seized Mr. Godwin Emefele against the express and positive orders of the Federal High Court Lagos to keep, in fact, the court ordered and signed a demand warrant addressed to the correction, correctional services to keep Mr. Godwin Emefele in their custody pending the perfection of the conditions of bail. Now, the DSS fought with the correctional services who came to comply with the order of the court and took away Mr. Godwin Emefele. So in the eyes of the law, as of today, Mr. Godwin Emefele is in the custody of the Nigerian Correctional Services. So where are we today? The same DSS that had procured two previous orders today have come to court to ask the High Court of FCT to sit on appeal over the direct orders of the Federal High Court Lagos to ask the High Court of FCT to sit on appeal over the same High Court of FCT. Luckily, the vigilance of the defense team and good Nigerians led to our presence in court today. And they were forced to withdraw the application and the same was uh, consequently struck out. Now what this means is that the DSS continues to hold a Nigerian citizen against the express orders of several courts. The High Court is a court of unlimited jurisdiction. We expect that with what happened today, the DSS will obey the court orders and release Mr. Godwin Emefele immediately to his family. In fact, release him to the custody where the court kept him, pending the perfection of his bail conditions. As a legal team led by Joseph Boduni Daudwe said, our mandate is to ensure that even while Mr. Godwin Emefele is not above the law, but no authority in this country can place a Nigerian below the law. Godwin Emefele cannot be placed below the law. Thank you. So in, other words, in summary, the DSS application to extend this demand order has been withdrawn and struck out. The court summarily, upon our appearance, this we do struck out the application for being an abuse of the process of the court. Because, again, the section 293, where the uh, DSS came under, was observed by court and counsel that the jurisdiction to detain or order a remand of Mr. Godwin MFLA vests with the magistrate court. Now, we also have intelligence that the applicants are sourcing for magistrates, and maybe judges, and who knows, maybe area courts, to grant an order to detain Mr. Godwin Emefele. We call on the judiciary to resist any attempt to destroy this institution. This institution must be made to stand for Mr. Godwin Emefele, for me, for Mr. Bolame Tinubu, for the DG of DSS, and for every Nigerian in this country. This is the institution that the Constitution created to protect our fundamental rights, and we must sustain this institution. Thank you, gentlemen. Your name again, sir? My name is Chief Emeka Obegolu. Thank you.